The chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Apiodu Labaja, was in Lagos. Or the clearance of unexploded ordnance of the 9 Brigade Military Cantonment, Ikeja. The 2002 Ikeja bomb explosion was a trying moment for the Nigerian army, given the magnitude of the damage. But the event never weakened the resolve of the military. The army has continued to live up to their responsibilities provided by the constitution and the sacrifice paid by soldiers to keep the territorial integrity and peace of our country would not go unappreciated. General Lagbaja said the visit was to inform the governor about the Nigerian army activities to be conducted in Lagos, noting that the exercises were designed to further entrench the peace and stability enjoyed in Lagos. On the sideline, we have a request to make. I should have made this, but uh, considering that uh, it is official, in uh, 2008, 2009, when the Padagri Expressway was being expanded, there was an understanding between the Nigerian Army and the Lagos State Government to demolish part of our fence, just like it was done along the Yaba tree. The, and uh, Part of our fence at the Maya 2 barracks was demolished with the understanding that the Lagos State Government will rebuild the primary school okay. that was demolished. The fence has been rebuilt, so that site has remained abandoned for over 10 years now. So I want to plead that Your Excellency take a look at it with a view to getting the contractor to return back to site because that school is meant for the benefit of not only our children in the barracks, but also the host community. People from around uh, the Maitu community come around to get education in that school. So, Your Excellency, please take a look at uh, that. In closing, I want to <laughs> pledge the continued support of uh, the formations and units of uh, the Nigerian Army to the government and the people of Lagos State. The Nigerian Army is the people's army. So anytime you need the, our support, Your Excellency, just at the tap of the finger will be at your service. Do not hesitate to call on us. I still appreciate you. I appreciate the good people of Lagos State. And we look forward to an expanded and cordial relationship with the Lagos State government. Thank you, sir. Lagos State Governor Baba Jide Sanwolu held the Nigerian Army, adding that the army had aimed the citizens' confidence and respect as a member of the nation's armed forces, given its sense of commitment, dedication, and patriotism. Um, we want to also use this occasion, since the formal, first formal visit that I am receiving you, to congratulate you on the confidence that Mr. President has reposed in your leadership, and to say that indeed we believe it's the right choice, it's the right, I mean, um, um, it's a square hole in a square peg, and we're convinced that you will do a good job. And you will take the Nigerian army, as we know, to an enviable height, to a level that we will truly, truly be proud of. We can see that you are, a, you are a very fit and proper chief of army staff, you know, leading in all of the training exercises of your men, um, leading and showing them, you know, what true leadership is all about. We're grateful. We're, we thank you. To thank you and your men for your dedication to the country at this very difficult time in different parts of the world, in different parts of the country, that you continue to uphold the constitution, the, the, the integrity, and the, and, and the sovereignty of our country. So I want to, on behalf of the people and government of Lagos State, you know, wish you all the very best and will continue to ensure that we give you all of the required and needed support for you to be able to discharge your responsibility very well. And I think it's also in that spirit that they have come to Lagos to come to the 9th Brigade and the entire 81 Div, which I don't know where their ranking is in Nigerian Army, but I know it's right top there because we are the mother city. So I imagine that in terms of how old and how long 81 Div um, will, will rank very, very senior to come back and to come and do a few military assignments, um, the ordinances, like you mentioned. We were in cabinet when the incidents around 2002 happened. 
you know, and, um, and, and, uh, we are ushering into the last three months of the year where citizens traveled across the country for festivities. Therefore, the Nigerian army flagged off three exercises simultaneously. The exercises, according to Director Army Public Relations, Brigadier General Yeman Wachuku, are Exercise Steel Waters 3, Golden Dawn 3, and Enduring Peace 3. In an effort to ensure the protection of lives and property across the Federation, as the year draws to an end, Olayemi Esso, for Spy TV.